More news now. February is also celebrated as the month of love. Valentine's Day contains both Christian and Roman traditions. Uh, you may be wondering who St. Valentine is. Sorry, I got nothing for you on that front because <laughs> the clock is ticking. Instead, I've got some dope to get your love life in order before the 14th. With Valentine's Day just around the corner, there's an urgency to this assignment. Today's TMJ4 needs dating information and fast. First of all, there's more single women in Milwaukee than men, so men have it made. We meet Sean Alderton at the Hudson Business Lounge and Cafe. She becomes our source of dating light and knowledge. She is, after all, the only certified matchmaker in the state of Wisconsin. Her PR rep confirmed this fact. Seems Sean's legit. If somebody's shaking hands with you, notice where their belly button is. Believe it or not, if it's pointed towards you, they're interested in you, they're attracted to you. Sean is the CEO of Affluent Amore Matchmakers. She charges men big bucks, and the former executive recruiter tracks down their soulmate. Women can take advantage of Sean's matchmaking acumen for free. The free thing is what this reporter's looking for, and Sean has the facts on dating etiquette. After a date, it's nice to at least send a nice text. I really enjoy getting to meet you. It was a lovely evening. Looking forward to seeing you again if you're interested. And then follow up the next day with a phone call. Much of her advice boils down to, well, don't be a jerk. You have to be very cognizant of how you treat everybody from that very first minute. So notice the hostess. Be friendly. Use her name. Also the waiter. Same thing. Now again, affluent Amore matchmakers is expensive for us guys and free for women. We'll get a link up on our website. In the meantime, Sean agrees with me on that free advice I provided a moment ago. Don't be a jerk. That's sort of universal, mm -hmm. no, male or female. <laughs> okay, thanks, George. Well,